welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's video is me starting my vlogtober series because I saw this on YouTube and I want to do it and I want to do it because it's my birthday month so why not do vlogtober so this is day one and it's October 1st my birthday month I'm so excited and so for today's vlogtober video I'll be doing my makeup and the Halloween thing and looking at Hocus Pocus too. So I'm very excited. But um, the makeup look I'm doing is going to be um, what's it called? I'm doing um, so what's her name? I forgot her name. She's off um, Chucky. Charles Bay. She's off Charles Bay. Tiffany. So I'm doing her type of makeup look. Or Chucky's. Is it Chucky or Tiffany? I'm probably going to do Yeah, I'm probably going to do Chucky instead Yeah, I'm going to do Chucky And while I do that, I'm going to eat some of my Buffalo candy So let's get started It's a hurt you I mean, it's a hurt she Sorry Mmm, really good Okay, so First, we're going to use these, these, my face, god, that's really good, god, the chocolate is really, really good, And while I'm doing this, I'm looking at um Chucky. So yeah. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna get that chocolate over. Obviously a winter, not a spring. They hear Cochran comes, so they ditch the makeup tutorial and flee. The only thing to call finds is a sexy, sexy doll. Do you hug me? I hug me. Chucky tries for promotion. Cochran's not one to get all punchy feelings, so grows in the way, so much better. He's not using this. I just serum. Base serum. They're really good. Okay, so like I said, my birthday is, 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 is my birthday. Like I said, this is my birthday month. My birthday is on October 27th. Me and my sister share the same birthday month. Her birthday is October 21st. She's not older than me, she's actually younger than me, like really younger. She's only one year old, and I'm like, I'm gonna turn 14. But, um, she, um, is turning two, and turning 14. And so for my birthday, we're, um, like on the, the day of my birthday, we're going. Skating with my friends. Go with my friends friend skating and my cousins. But a couple weeks before that, we're going, or back on nowhere, we have like a party at my house. It's like a get together thing. So, that's gonna be really fun. Mm. 
There's one bad thing about home skating is it's on a school night because I have school. I have school on my birthday, like on my birthday, which kind of sucks. We're gonna have to make it work. He said he almost did the makeup for Child's Play 1 until he realized he wouldn't be doing any Chucky effects. And for my sister, we're like, we're like sharing a, par we're like sharing a party. But I don't know what she's going to do on her birthday. My mom hasn't decided yet. But we know for sure that we're going skating for my birthday. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be vlogging those days, of course, because you miss every day of the month. Comment down below if you do December, too. I can't see videos of people doing that, but I just never did it because, I don't know, just like it would be like, so I would have no ideas of what to like, post. Okay. I'm going to the concealer, but not foundation because I'm doing chucky makeup and I don't think I need that to do it. Hey, just concealer. Yes, well, like I said, but last night I went to see a movie with my best friend. We went to go see um. We went to go see um Smile. This new screen movie that came out yesterday, and it was very scary. I mean, it wasn't like, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to sleep at night. It was scary. It was just like, simply just scary. So, we went to the movies with my best friend, her sister, and her sister's best friend. But it was really, it was really fun. Okay. So I'm gonna do like the scratches and stuff. I'm gonna try to add a little bit of fluff to it. I'm using this eyeliner pen. This side is like moons and it's like a regular eyeliner. I'm gonna use this cup to like look at his face because I'm here it has Chucky on here and try to use it as reference. So I did a Chucky Chucky makeup look like twice. One time, a long, long time ago, which was kind of good. Then the newer time, I have a YouTube, I have a video about that on my TikTok account. So I'll like put my TikTok account down below. But it won't be too long, but who cares? Yeah, that's too long. Wait, let me just take. But that's like really long. I don't know what that's going I'm almost wiping it because I have no concealer up there. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay. 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 Okay.
pumps him down with chewing gum from his balloon cigarette and gun drawer. When Big Red ain't big enough, he turns to the Lost and Found's doll supply. Andy and DeSilva get to the fair just in time for a cameo by producer David Kirshner and his real life family. They hightail it for the combination security tent slash head of here to find the fairgrounds guard dead, shot in the head with his own gun. Looking for a place to get his Dabala on, Chucky steers Tyler into the Devil's Lair, the world's most elaborate carnival haunted house. It's a set piece that is both awesome and ridiculously unbelievable. I also have this tiny carnival that has okay. a side bigger than the haunted mansion. Look at how lucky so far. This, this takes like time. I think. Richard Sawyer, who was also responsible for recreating the opening scene's cobweb-covered good guy factory in a space much smaller than they had in Child's Play 2. The Devil's Lair, meanwhile, was built on Stage 28 in Universal Studios. This legendary 14,000 square foot space housed original sets from Phantom of the Opera. It was an iconic piece of film history. That was a highlight for tour groups, but it was demolished a few years ago, so the theme park could expand to include Nintendo World. Daniel Yoshi! Chucky decides to finish hiding his soul in the gas leak section of the ride, not knowing this coffin would be spring loaded. Nobody expects the skeletal imposition. Tyler plays chicken. So he having no eyebrows, barely. So it's been a little bit difficult to, like, get it correct. Throwing discretion out the window, Chucky decides to start busting caps like this with Carnival. Dirty De Silva is but Chucky proves to be the better marksman, despite her training and the fact that he is a doll. Still, he doesn't kill her, which I'm happy about. I hope De Silva shows up in the Chucky TV series. With the only competent shooter down for the count, it's up to Andy to shoot first and ask questions in the sequel. He chases Chucky into a fucking roller coaster room? What is this ride? And why is it still operating? Didn't anyone hear the gunshots? Tyler falls through a piece of scenery. Okay, so it looks. I'm gonna add a little cuts to make like a like stitch now. So, I'll get back while I'm done doing that. Okay. So, this how it looks. I have like little scars in my face. So, we're gonna first take a drink there because I'm kind of thirsty. And my throat hurts because I was like screaming last night in the movie theaters. Don't worry. I've been here before. Cool and sad mind to go out on as Andy is put in the back of a police car. Alright, fun's over, folks. You don't have to go home, but you can't ride the devil's lair anymore. Because there's dog blood all over it. Okay. Now I hope you're ready to go. Presto. I'm gonna press that. I wanna make a bloody and stuff. So we're gonna I'm gonna use one of these and get an uh, eyeshadow palette and use the red to make it like blood or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a Sour Patch Kids Shadow Palette. And finally, Split 2 Gun Kills. With its 8 deaths, Child's Play 3 ties part 2 and kill one. So, I'm just gonna take it. Welcome to the kill I don't know what I'm doing. Tally up the victims in all our favorite horror movies. I'm David Zangelis, and today we're looking at Bride of Chucky, released in 1998. The box office failure of Child's Play 3 put a 7 year pause on further Chucky sequels. Of course, it didn't help as slashers were seriously struggling in the early 90s. But then came Scream, which revitalized the genre and sent studios scrambling to make hit horror. I'm just taking like, like, like I have to put it in the spot to put it in. The yellow good guy box and asked creator Don Mancini to make a modernized iteration of the killer doll. Mancini was happy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. To take things in a new direction so away from Andy Barton. Inspiration for the franchise's producer and Chucky designer, David Kirshner. I was in video studio. No, I saw copy the bride of frankenstein i just thought wow that would be great if we were able to create a bride for chucky for a director kirschner and mancini chose hong kong filmmaker ronnie Yu after seeing his movie the bride with white hair five years later Yu would go on to direct freddy versus jason fred Dourif returns as the voice of chucky he's now joined by his old girlfriend tiffany valentine mancini specifically wrote tiffany to be played by jennifer tilly since he was a fan of bound and bullets over broadway she is a fantastic addition to the giving a fan favorite performance that cemented Tiffany's status as a series mainstay. Chucky and Tiffany are unfortunately coupled with a 
pair of protagonists who I find much less endearing. As I've said many times before, Jade and Jesse's bland relationship is a chore to watch. While it doesn't bother me quite as much as it did five years ago, it's definitely the worst part of an otherwise fun movie. But whatever, the movie's not really about that. This movie is my first romantic movie, and it's part of an overall I'm gonna to launch me into the leading man status. As with most late night before, Scream's influence is all over this movie. While Chucky had always been ready with a clip or two, Rye brings him up to speed and pours new sensibilities. This is a full-blown comedy with tons of meta jokes about the series' history and references to other horror movies. Mancini wrote it as a farcical romantic comedy full of misunderstandings, kind of like, okay, Three's Company. Ride also massively ups the gore, bringing us a whole host of creators. Far bloodier than anything we saw in the original trilogy. That's I'm going to be more gory so than this. I'm going to have to work for now. Becoming the Chucky show. We're no longer in child's play. We're of Chucky. I don't like well, thick blood or anything. Just make it look like actually scary. So. so to wear comfortably with eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life as long as this sponsorship shall last i do and do you raycon tay james to have and to be worn by in noise isolation or awareness mode as long as this sponsorship might live seizures a day. Let's talk about how many seizures in a half an hour. When our family is in a time of need, we know exactly where to go, and that is Children's Hospital in Michigan. They do, and they've got great sound quality. I know, and they're backed by 50,000 five-star reviews. With the power vested in me by this priest robe that I bought on Amazon, you may now use the tap function to play, change tracks, or change volume. Chelsea, breakdowns are already half the okay. price of other premium audio brands, but you can get yourself a pair of those. My lips are moving. This pink pack. Well, twice the kills means twice the kills. They're like matches with some cool. Let's get to that. It's like. Hello? Ben, could you please put that shit back in their bins? These evidence locker shots were originally written into the court scene cut from the beginning of Child's Play 2. They're reused here. It's perfect. Um, rides more meta tone. A guy named Officer Bailey is sneaking out of the cell to assault your voice. Maybe that'd be like a little bit creepy. Hey, I'm on my way and don't forget my money. Not very good role model behavior from Bailey. And before you know it, this ding dong says hello to a throat slit that puts an end to Mr. Bailey's wonderful life. That's it. This is how it looks. A little smile. Okay. Yeah, it's really cute. It's not scary enough, but yeah. Um, I really love doing this Oktoberfest first video. I mean, I did not decide to fest. I meant Vlogtober video. I guess this is day one. So tomorrow, there'll be a new video, new things, and a lot some more fun. But, if you like the video, like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye.